Hello, friends and lovers. Welcome to Bingle Bingle. God, gotta be one of the worst names I've heard for any game ever. But however, this game is actually uh, annoyingly addicting in, in a lot of ways. So if you play Palatro, then you're probably going to recognize this as a semi shameless spinoff of uh, what Palatro did in terms of a game formula. So it's sort of a gambling roguelike in a sense, but we're using a roulette wheel instead of like poker cards. But it does have a lot of uh, interesting ingenuity going on and it's got some like pretty cool things happening with it anyway let's get into it so it is a roguelike so there are runs i'm not going to read too much about this but this is sort of the one ability that we can get uh sort of like a deck i guess you could say so let's get into it so we got to select a starting bonus here i know there's going to be a lot to take in because the game it doesn't do an amazing job in terms of ui and i've already been through the tutorial so i'm going to have to kind of tell you what's going on so uh, let's not focus too hard on the bonus i guess we're gonna get here because you're gonna need to know a lot of other things before this makes sense right um that's okay first round can eat gold coins in the first shop lose five coins in the shop after the first boss uh first round huh hmm three rolls huh let's try to take let's try a loan out here i wonder if we can go negative in the money okay so we have a roulette wheel and what's going to happen is that we are going to throw the ball on roulette wheel it's going to land on a random square so pretty straightforward it is basically roulette this is the score we want to get is 300. uh to determine what kind of score you get it multiplies your base points by your chips it's kind of hard to see what that is but unless you do if you just do nothing it's just going to be 10 times 10 so we're only going to get 100 points if we just throw this ball out right now. I can discard to look for more balls here because you can get different balls. We don't have anything different uh, quite yet. But you can also place bets on specific uh, things. Each ball is going to be able to place a specific bet. Uh, so for instance, this normal ball has the capability of allowing us to bet on a specific color, if that makes sense. So if you do that, let's say we bet uh, all on red and we do land on red we get plus 20 chips on the next roll so it would be 10 times 20 which equals 200 obviously now we have no way of persuading the roulette table to land on red quite yet but uh you can definitely do things to make that happen we can discard here as well in order to try to get specific balls but again our deck or i guess you'd call it a deck is just kind of whatever so there are three left in here so it's one two and the third one is essentially the one that we're looking at i noticed that visually this is kind of like confusing i guess you could say all right i hope i explained that pretty decently well so we know that if we roll this and we land on red that we will get oh whoops i sped it up let's slow it down uh oh i got 900 okay wait what it should have been oh is it because of this Oh, I think it's because of the thing we took, loan. Oh, plus 20 points the first round. So points are the first multiplier. Chips are the second. So it was 30 times 30. Oh, so we didn't need to place that bet then, <laughs> basically. It was unnecessary. It was only for the first round, so that's useless now. So here is the shop in between every single round that you get. You have pockets, so you can exchange, or rather you can change the pockets on the roulette table with what you have here. So we convert a bunch of things to red which could help us since we're betting on all colors you start with a normal deck of balls here and they all can only bet on a specific color either black or red you can change what you can bet them on by buying a bet token i guess you could call it and i could equip it to a ball essentially so i could change for instance this normal ball so that you can bet on a pack of 12 numbers instead Bet on one number, Echo Fragile. At the start of next round, add the normal version of same bet worth half of a time. Token destroyed after use. Destroyed token cannot be drawn again in that round. Yeah, that's very... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a lot. So we have 17 gold. We can also upgrade our balls. We probably want to get a ball, if I were to guess, uh, to start ourselves off. Roll a ball that can change the pocket. I've never actually tried this one. I wonder what that means exactly. So these are new balls that we can do. You you change one of these for it. These are new bets. These are pockets. And then these are passive items here. Scrooge, plus 16 points. Decrease it by two when money is spent permanently. But when I spend money eight times. Okay, so this could help us out. Oh, does it go negative? Ooh. 
when number of round tokens left is even plus 20 chips when it's odd plus five points oh number of round tokens left okay tokens are the balls right yeah tokens are the balls okay so this is all bonus so that costs nine that's pretty good but we also want a ball so that would be 15 if we do that so let's try pocket ball here we'll just replace this one you can also upgrade the ball so that they get more points essentially roll a ball register the number and color of pocket oh interesting so i i get to pick exactly where to put it oh that could be interesting then so we could get better bets here too also you want to spend all of your money we do already have an 18 on there register the number and color of pocket huh so we have two gold left pack of 12 numbers that bet might be worth more than color so placing bets is it might be worth more let's try that out now we only got one gold can't spend it on anything you can also look at this now because if you've changed a bunch of pockets here you can kind of take a look so bet on a dozen so these bets basically i don't know how much these bets are worth still though but it's going to be one of these so if we get to pick a specific number with pocket ball this could get interesting i think but it's worth a uh, fewer points so i guess we will bet on sure red with the normal ball and now we do have discards okay we can bet on a dozen the number of round tokens left is even okay so it is worth a little bit more 10 more chips to bet on a specific dozen so we'll do red and the low numbers i'm noticing it says plus 10 though hmm oh was it plus 10 because of the red uh, plus 50 chips it says now i don't know okay there's the pocket ball wait do i not get the pick what happened i got a red nine which is exactly what i wanted there we go so you can see it adding up here so we did land a red in on the first dozen that got us 800 that let us win so you can discard to try to get specific tokens or balls right you do have a draw pile and i guess it reshuffles if you draw them all but you also don't want to spend when you bet, place a bet um that's using a token when you spin that also uses a token so those two things both use tokens so you got to have a balance of betting and rolling and you want to place your bets first if possible and then start rolling right i'm trying to understand this roll one ball change pockets to the registered pocket it's currently set to nine why'd the verbiage change all of a sudden <laughs> i'm a little confused by that but okay bet on three numbers horizontally hmm bet on two numbers when winning this bet freeze nearby pockets okay after buying or upgrading less than once in the shop gain 10 percent more score permanently i've had this so basically after i buy this if i buy exactly one thing in the shop after that uh then uh, this gets plus 10%. So every shop, you just want to buy one thing if possible. In one discard when you draw a heart ball after discarding. Well, we don't have any heart balls. So that's pretty bad, I'm going to say. Hmm. Okay. Having my coffee here. I'm thinking. I kind of want this. Bit on three numbers horizontally. I, I like it. So it's set to a nine. I don't know how it got set to that. Change pockets to the registered pocket. So if we do this, put that on one of the normal balls, right? Then we buy keep the change. Then we upgrade the pocket ball once. I think that works. There you go. This that went up by 10%. So upgrading counts as a buy, by the way. I guess I should say. I gotta like look at that token of uh, uh, <laughs> that ball ugh, that thing that changes i've played the game for already like 45 minutes but there's a lot going on already so we're gonna bet on red i suppose this is the dozen bet uh we'll set it to the first whatever 
but I don't, I don't think we need, we shouldn't need to place another bet like street. Uh, so that's worth a lot because it's a tough bet to meet, right? You have to bet on a specific row, but you could make that happen, right? We could have discarded to make sure we just get that one and maybe that bet would have been enough. There's pocket ball. Okay, so is this just always going to be set to a red nine? Forever and ever, maybe? It could be. It kind of looks that way, right? Unless it changes every time. No, it hit black 11. I'm so confused. What do you mean? It still hit the first dozen at least, which was enough to get us out of the round, but I just want to understand the token better. <laughs> I'm so confused by that. To the registered pocket. Still says red nine. Roll one ball. Change pockets to the registered pocket. Nine. What do you mean? What do you mean? I don't understand. All right. Anyway, we got $11. Plus 10 points. Decrease it by one per the count of unused round tokens at the end of the round permanently. So it hurts our economy. Unused tokens add to our money, you might have noticed. When a ball lands a pocket containing the number four, gain plus two discards. Eh. Bet on even or odd numbers. Bet on the red or black pockets. This bet reduce chips. Mirror. Add the normal version of the same bet that's worth 1.5 times random pockets. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, okay. Um. So I know we have this. Um, interesting, but I think we got to kind of spend some here, right? Also, if you upgrade a ball, it'll make the bet worth more as well. Yeah, you can see it down there. Bet on three numbers horizontally goes from 120 to 180. I'm going to buy more than one thing here. I'm thinking we go, let's place a, the nines next to each other. That might help. Then we upgrade the pocket ball. We upgrade the normal ball. I'm going to say. I don't even or odd numbers. Now you could set that, which I assume is like slightly better than betting on a color. Like you, it might be worth more money. Maybe it's good just to have a bunch of different styles of bets. I'm not really sure. We're at a boss. Cold wind. Freeze three random pockets after using a token. Uh, so freeze just means the ball can't land there. Pretty easy, right? So we got the dozen here. Is there a way to like read about the the token maybe somewhere some more? We'll bet it on the first does still, I think. So that froze a few pockets. That's a pretty bad bet. We only need a thousand. It still says nine. Ten base points, pocket ball. I'm trying to like click around to see <laughs> what's going on. So this lets you look. Did it actually, so when it landed on the 11, did it just change to the red nine? Maybe, maybe that's all, maybe that's all it did. Maybe. So even though it landed on black 11, it counted as a red nine and I just didn't really notice. Cause that landed on a red seven, right? Either way we win the bet. So I, I I'm not going to be able to tell really, right? That was only worth 605. Uh oh. Oh, crap. <laughs> okay, I should have placed a bigger bet than probably, huh? I don't think I want to place this bet. It is it is possible to draw the other. Do I want to place a bet on red? I think I will. But I have two tokens left now. I'm going to roll one. Oh, no, it landed on black. It is in the first dozen, though, so we might be okay. I think we're okay. Whew. That was actually kind of scary. Okay. I'm guessing... I'm guessing that's what that ball means now. Every round, your first used token is registered. Clear one round using only the registered token. What? So these are quests, interestingly. Every round, your first used token is registered. Here, one round using only the registered token. Okay. 
copy and add three registered tokens registered tokens have one and a half times the value the other tokens have half the value permanently i understand so assumedly i can't place bets with other tokens if i do that in order to complete this quest but i only need to do it once but it's gonna be really hard to do right because i would need to place a you can play if you place a bet with a token it discards that token so you'd have to find a way to draw it again even though the reward is amazing there i would say have 36 pockets of the same color as the quest bets on the majority color add three times chips eh. do not buy an any item in the shop for three rounds gain 40 dollars oh christ these are tough i think i'll take natural selection but i don't know if i'm ever going to complete it at this rate loan minus five bucks okay still worth it what do you got here on the first page of each shop every product's our pockets the first reroll is always free too oh that could be fascinating but it doesn't appear that we need it right hmm yeah i don't think we need to buy anything bet on six numbers horizontally bet on two numbers echo fragile token is destroyed after use destroyed token cannot be drawn again in that round so that might not be bad right so it destroys like a normal ball for us Let's just upgrade pocket ball though for now. Roll two balls, change pockets to the registered pocket. Yo, wait, what? And they always register as the red nine. Okay. Let's go for a better bet. But the thing is, you got to be careful here. Let's go red. And then we'll do the first dozen, of course. Okay, there we go. Now, I wanted to draw this earlier, but you don't know when you're going to draw the other one, right? And so you might be forced to place a... You might not place all the bets you need to before you draw the, your good ball here. So it is two balls. They just land on random squares. And let's see, does this pay out? It did not pay out. I don't understand this ball at all game explain yourself wait then it changed to nine afterward oh 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 it creates a bunch of red nine oh where it lands uh okay <laughs> i understand now okay i i was gonna say i have a lot of red nines you know Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right. So it's going to manipulate the board for us, basically. Uh, stop that. We hit the dozen. Is that going to be enough? To win here? It might be. Oh, okay, we're good. So I don't know if I want to keep upgrading this ball here. Because I don't, I don't know. What does the upgrade do? It changes that to 12 points. And gives the bets give plus 60 chips, but I don't want to use the place bets. We don't need to make pockets, probably, right? We got another pocket ball, but that's pretty bad. Roll a high value ball. Don't really know what that means. First page, yeah, no. First two re rolls are free at each shop. Hmm, bet on a pack of 12 numbers. That is a better bet. Let me see. Bet on red or black pockets. Echo fragile. Token destroyed after use. Destroy token cannot be drawn again in that round. At the start of next round, add the normal version of same bet worth 0.5 times. Okay, so, okay. It's kind of interesting. Hmm. Let's do that. But I still kind of want to upgrade here. Or I could just go. Hmm. Bet on three numbers horizontally. So you'd bet on red nines, right? So it doesn't change it till afterwards. So you can't totally manipulate, right? Evens and odds. Which is not worth that much. I think I want to spend for the upgrade here. I'm not going to roll this ball. I'd only be upgrading it for the sake of the bet. This bet is just worth so much more, right? In fact, that's a, that's a lot more too. Okay. 
That bet should be worth more. We bet on the nines, basically. I'm going to say we bet on... So we can only bet on that. So that bet is worth a ton. That makes it fragile. But I would get it to do it again, basically. Come on, have one land on red nine already? Neither did. We get to change two pockets at least. Oh, but we hit first dozen twice, so that's okay. That's not bad. So we're at 1800, so we might be all right. And we got two more nines out of it. I think we just roll it because our, our balls kind of suck now. Show me a red nine. Yo, let's go. Street's going to pay out big now. That's our that's our juicy bet. But we only have one rollable ball here, really. Actually, no, that's not really true, really. Damn, that was worth a lot. Okay. That's not really true. This is more of a utility ball, right? It's not a scoring ball, so to speak. Bet on one vertical line, and eh, bet on four numbers in a square, flash, fragile. Hmm. So I could change the ball. I wonder if that, does that affect the bets? Really larger ball, large ball can be affected by multiple pockets. Does it also ruin the fact that I've upgraded these? I wonder. Okay, so you kept the even all. Even odd, rather. This is something that we could roll. Hmm. I think I do want to upgrade. I'm thinking this bet could just because it's so strong. Okay. There we go. We got it already. So bet on the nines. And hopefully that's the only bet we need. Although this would probably be nice just because it destroys the token. I'm just going to roll a large ball. How many pockets does this actually hit? I wonder. I think it's touching the nine. Right? Yep. It counted it. Let's go, baby. I know I'm not making good use of this permanent plus 10% upgrade. Oh, maybe I should have discarded for pocket ball because we want to change to more nines, right? It's still roll two balls if I upgrade it. Okay. Roll multiple balls, fragile. Token destroyed after use. Destroyed token cannot be drawn again in that round. Roll a ball. The next ball will go into the same pocket. Wave ball also increases chips of bet one. It won permanently. No. First page, you chop every product are special bets. Also, no. Hmm. Hmm. Twelve dollars, huh? I'm kind of okay with giving something fragile. Hmm. Then a pack of twelve numbers fragile. I don't know. We kind of got a lot of bets already. Interesting. Multi-ball? How many balls? It just says multiple balls. It feels like such a waste to just upgrade this and waste $3, right? You know what? Let's do this. Perk unlocked now and token perks appear in the shop. Token perks? Huh. Upgrade this for the bet? Upgrade this for the ball, because we might roll that from time to time. Plus 45, plus 30, but it does have echo. Okay, let's do that. Ride a boss. Roots around. Add five basic tokens into your tokens for this round. Ooh. Pretty bad. Put on red. Discard that. Fragile. Five base points. Do I want to roll it? I would prefer to roll the other. Oh, we did. Oh, I see. We kept the echo color from that. The thing is, we have a lot to draw here. I don't know how much I should really risk trying to draw specifically the pocket ball, whatever it's called. I only got three discards here. Doesn't hurt to discard. Hmm. You don't have a lot of bets, actually, I'm noticing. Why don't we bet on the first dozen for that? Ah, we got it. Okay. Let's throw it. 
Because we'd like to get more red nines out there, right? So we kind of landed poorly. No first dozen, but we got two reds at least, I guess. Yeah, we did not score very well here. It's okay. It's for the utility. That's what I'm telling myself at least. Let's see if we can get the big ball now. Do I need to place another bet here? I think we might have to. This guy, that's bad. That's bad. Large ball. Okay, let's roll it. Come on. Hit a red nine. Nice. Now, if it hits two red nines, does that mean something? Does it trigger twice? No. Does not. But it was worth just enough, practically. Okay. Remove one token from the deck. That's actually okay. Three more discards per round. Oh, that's even better, though. I think. Can play one more token per round. Oh, wow. Hmm. That's actually really tough. I don't know. I honestly don't know. I don't think it's burner. Give me stake raise, I'm going to say. Because it gives us more money with unused tokens, right? Also. Flash bet is retained for one more spin. Worth three times the normal version of the same bet. Bet is removed after spin. I don't have a flash bet, as far as I can tell. Most frequent number on the wheel will always be offered in the shop. So, that means that I will get red nines. Well, it says number. I, th I think I had this when I was playing alone, and... I don't think it's necessarily always going to be red, is the problem. Uh, so we got a new perk. Attached token cannot be destroyed anymore. That's not great. Well, I mean, I guess you could throw it on the multi-ball, but I don't know if I'm that excited about it. Hmm. Yeah, this shop kind of just stinks, right? Flash bet does nothing. You could take this. It's not terrible. Just to try to get the red nines a little more quickly. And we go. Need 8,000. We bet on that, so that's a big bet. But I will bet again. Just for the echo, essentially. I don't know if that's enough. To be truthful. There's pocket ball. Let's roll that bad boy. We hit one of the red nines, but we hit we were able to change one of the pockets too. Yeah, that's not a good score at all. Oh wait, oh right, because one of them landed on red nine. Okay, that that was actually damn, it's really close. Um, so is this gone next round? Is that the idea? Is there any point in discarding for a different ball here? I could get the pocket ball again. So, oh yeah, there you go. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That'll do. Nice. And we hit two numbers that need to be converted. All red nines, baby. So if we find a way to place a bet on a singular number, we'd really want that, right? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. So yeah, we got a black nines. And it only got offered once, unfortunately. Attached token... At attached uh, token roll one more ball or bet once more. The token is worth 0.5 value. Attached token roll one more ball or bet once more. Token is worth 0.5. So that's probably worth it for pocket ball. Right? Even though it's worth half, it's it's worth garbage anyway, kind of. You know? And I guess we'll just call it there. Now, I could upgrade this, but I think the 10% more is probably better. Or keep the change here. Oh, damn, we drew it right away. I think we just throw it. We hopefully, maybe not even necessarily draw it again. But, wait, what's going on here? Oh, it's supposed to be three balls. Oh, I'm a bit confused by that. I noticed that it showed like a double token there. 
It's adding it up. <laughs> Slowly, surely. Is it going to throw it again? No, I don't understand then, honestly. I have no idea. That's a pretty lousy bet. I think I have to discard. We'll do the first dozen, I think. Echo color on red. And I guess I'll do that as well. Now we have quite a few discards. I'm hoping the draw. The thing. I did not though, so we're going to have to throw the multi ball. Did one, no red nines. Not a single one. In fact, only one was even red. All right, I think we can speed this up now so we don't take forever. All right, we did get Pocket Ball again here. And I do have another token after this. It shows double. Oh, uh, landed on two red nines, which is bad really here. Although maybe I needed the score. Oh shit, I definitely needed the score. So we know where this is going to land now. That's our thing. Archer, this is sort of like our deck, essentially. It tells you where it's going to land. Although I don't know what you do with that information when you have it right here in front of you. We might be dead now, honestly. Kind of can't tell. I oh, never mind. It was worth plenty. Ugh, kind of scary. Okay, we got $10. We did get a red nine in the shop. I don't know how much I want to do it. Before rolling, select a range of pockets where the ball will land. It's okay, right? Don't really want to get a new pocket ball. Patch token becomes fragile. Double token. Attached token roll one more ball or bet once more. I feel like it's not working, right? Am I cray? I feel like it's not working. Hmm. What should we do here? I don't really want to upgrade pocket ball that much. Large ball is kind of a way for us to get some money. When winning a dozen bet, plus 10 points. That's not bad. Five. We do have two dozen bets on here, right? Let's do that. So now we do want to place dozen bets quite a bit. I do want to place the echo color quite a bit. I think I will discard that because that bet is not worth enough. I could throw the multi ball here, or we could just place another bet. I don't know. And we're going to roll that. We got two red nines, so we're going to get a decent score. But we didn't get to change anything. This is the this is the juice bet, right? I think we just I don't think we need it. Do we? Do we need it? I don't know. We might. I want to... I have three discards. Yeah, why don't we try to draw a pocket ball again? Nice. Okay. I got one red nine, and I think that should be plenty then. We got to change one number. Okay. So yeah, street is the one I really want to hit for betting. Oh, I get to change three pockets to red nines here if I spend $7. Wow. That's pretty good, huh? What's the perk? Attached token is always drawn first and each shuffle. Okay. Damn, I can't afford both. Um, That's actually quite good. Because that means that we could always draw this first. Place that bet first, right? Oh, man. That's really good. I'd have $4 left after that. Which is a bit awkward. Or would you want to just bet it on a dozen? I wonder. Hmm. That's really good. Would we want, just want to bet on the dozen now because of this? I think you might want to. In which case, I guess I'd throw it on this. Five. When a ball lands in pocket containing number two plus five chips permanently, no. I think this is going to be really important. I guess we throw it on there, and I guess I will upgrade this. Maybe that was stupid, but... Yeah, maybe I should have just skipped. 
Boss. After a bait, bet place, chips placed by same type of bet is multiplied by 0. 0.1. Huh? So the... After a bet place, chips placed by same type of bet. Okay, I don't totally understand. <laughs> so don't place the same bet, basically, I think. Is that what you're trying to say? So I shouldn't place another dozen bet? I still can't tell. Let's find out. Echo color red. There's pocket ball. Chuck it. We got one red nine. A little bit of score, a little bit of a change. We only got 51.45. That is not worth a lot. I think I do need to place that. There's another normal ball. Sorry. Oh, wait. Yeah, there, there's that ball, basically. So... I will throw the multi-ball here, I think. I got two red nines out of it. What kind of number are we looking at here? There we go. Do, 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 do. Copy a token from your deck. Yo. Remove one token from your deck. Gain four coins every round. Copy this. Okay, so it just adds it to the deck. Okay, it doesn't actually get rid of anything else. I wish that attached thing worked. Actually, should I have cloned normal ball here, I wonder? Maybe. We got this again to try to get more red nines. Attach the token, roll once more. Well, that didn't work last time. That did it. The token is worth half the value. Hmm. Confusing. <laughs> when the highest level token is not used for a round, gain 15% more score permanently. Ugh. When a ball lands in pocket containing number two, nope. Um... There we go. Now I have $7 left. This is the one that we... From now on, more special bets appear in the shop. I think it was worth upgrading that because we know we draw this. I want to upgrade that a lot, basically. Bet on one number. Oh. Okay. This bet is really bad. Straight up. That should be a really strong bet now. I don't know how much it's worth, but... If only we had, uh... Oh, wait, I could have put that on... Oh, crap, I could have put it on the... No! <laughs> I'm just going to throw this, I think. Just to try to get some conversions, right? I didn't get any. That's kind of worth garbage. I need 70,000. Dude! Straight up. Red 9. That's worth quite a bit now. The dozen bets are quite strong, too. And, yep, yeah, place a lot of... Basically place a lot of bets here. This is worth three base points now? Huh. That was worth quite a bit, actually. Do I just want to throw a normal ball here? See if we can draw the large ball. I'll get two more throws. I don't think I want to place another bet. Let's throw the large ball. That was worth quite a bit. 43k. Hmm. Maybe I should have discarded more for more the pocket changing balls. I don't know. Single red nine in there if we want. So yeah, I put I should I think I should have put straight up on this ball here, right? And just that way we could bet on the nines more easily. Tash token become fragile. I don't want to change that anymore. Bet on four numbers in a square. Bet on six numbers horizontally. Bet on one number. When winning this bet, have chance to trigger golden plus 3c in X coin. When winning this bet, have chance to trigger... I, I, I think it's worth it? Hard to say. Hard to say here, huh? And I'll increase that too. Golden straight up it is. Well, we basically got it again. Plus 700 chips. It's now fragile, but I'm kind of okay with that anyway. Golden straight up. Let's go, baby. I think I will just place that. 
the street just is three numbers basically chuck these out there we only got one red nine that's okay that was worth garbage basically okay place this bet or just discard it i think we discard do we place this bet or throw it let's place the bet i think we got the other pocket ball we got double red nines but the value here is very low I can throw two more. I have three re-rolls. It's kind of greedy to do this. I keep hitting the red nines, which is actually not what I want here, right? All right, I need a good one. So that's multi-ball. But I don't like that. Normal ball, 20 base points. 25, 20. So the large ball is not worth much more than this anyway. So a normal ball, we know it lands on the nine because of our ability. I hope that's worth enough. 62K. Woo! Let's go, baby. So did I get some money because of golden straight up? I did. I got six. Sweet. Okay. Containing number four, nope. For each different bet, gain plus 15% more score. That's actually pretty good, right? I really want to upgrade this though, right? The bet goes to 840 chips. Oh, there's a chance for the gold in the trigger. I understand now, I think. <laughs> um, hmm, 16. 16, huh? This is pretty good for us. I'm going to say. Now, should I just buy nothing here for 10% more score? <sighs> it's tough. Am I placing this bet often? This is the only dozen bet that we have now. So I guess so. All right. Our golden straight up bet on the nine. Pocket ball. I think we just chuck it out there just to try to convert, basically. No dice. But the golden bet got the land, so we'll place that on the nine. Place that on red. There's a second pocket ball. We were able to convert one. All right, now we just need to score decently. Or do I need to place another bet? This doesn't even score that high. Hard for me to tell. We don't know where this is going to land. Okay, I hit a red nine. Thank God. Because I, I need this to score pretty well. Let's go, baby. Maybe I could have discarded for more pocket balls there or something. Golden straight up hit again. Very nice. Plus 30 chips for the numbers with both red and black pockets. Wait, what? Plus 30 chips per the numbers. Oh, that have both red and black. That's terrible. Okay. When winning a line bet. Nope. Attached token is always drawn first in each shuffle. What happens when you have two of these? I wonder. So that could allow us to do the double straight up bet. If we put this on the large ball, right? That's pretty good. Bet on a pack of 12 numbers, no. Bet on even on odds, nah. Bet on two numbers. I think that's good. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do next here? Do we actually just want to upgrade that for the bet? I think so, because upgrading this for points is pretty terrible. Right? We definitely don't buy nothing. I'm going to say. Bet on two numbers. It's a better bet than dozen normally, but we also have this. Dozen ball value. We could change the street bet. Assumingly, that bet is worth more. I wish they told us, though. I could also put a different bet on the pocket ball. It's not a terrible idea. 
I guess I might as well spend on this, right? You lose all your money, all the money you don't spend. I don't know if I said that. From the second ball, the score is multiplied by 0.7. Oh, that's kind of bad, right? I'm going to say. That's pretty bad, right? <laughs> okay, two good bets. Put that on the red, too. Lit bet. So maybe I, I use the bet on this one. Nine. Oh. Split. Okay, so it happened twice, interestingly. I mean, I guess I kind of knew that. Okay, I'm placing a lot of bets. Double nines. How much is that worth here? Oh, we won. <laughs> Okay, gain four coins every round, freeze four pockets, remove one token from the deck. Oh, do I really want to remove a token from the deck? There's some bad ones, no doubt about, right? Hmm, kind of interesting. Give me the money, right? How long does this go on for? I actually have no idea. $22 plus one point per the count of numbers you have removed from the wheel. Oh, that's amazing. At each round, get a temporary token. One level higher than current stage level. The token is worth one and a half times. One level higher than the current stage level. I don't know. It's like one out of three rounds more likely to be normal. Well, we definitely take that. So that is worth already plus 21 points. Go, baby. So this... Uh, allows us to get a double bet, which is interesting. So if we throw it on like the multi ball here, right? Hmm. I think we still keep converting here. We still keep converting. Normal item, huh? That costs seven. Let's upgrade that. You could uh, be, re I could be re-rolling here too. All right, that's gonna help our score a lot. Golden straight up on the nine. Straight up on the nine. Dozen, yes. Still no pocket ball. I'm kind of waiting on that. And placing bets in the meantime. Well, only one hit the nine, one hit an eighteen. That's gonna convert. That's nice. That was worth a lot. That was worth a lot still. I think we can just chuck that. We got one conversion again. And we win. That's kind of perfect. That's how I want it to go, right? I want some one conversion and uh, kind of get it out of there pretty quickly, right? Now we're earning a ton of money each round. Okay. We're cruising, baby. Attached token gives coin equal to its level when discarded. When discarded. What would I discard here? Maybe that one. Plus 20 points, decrease it by 4 per the count of most frequent number on the wheel. Oh, that's terrible. Ooh, rare items. Okay. First page, each product are pockets. That could be interesting to try to get more 9s quickly, and then we get the free roll, right? I don't know how much it matters. Let's buy this. At each round, get a temporary token. That one's confusing. Wave Ball also increases chips of bet it won permanently. No. Plus 10 points, decrease it by 1 per the count of unused round tokens at the end of the round. Permanently. For the count of unused round tokens at the end of the round permanently. It's pretty bad. And at each round, get a temporary token one level higher than current stage level. Tokens worth one and a half times more. I guess I don't totally understand that. I hope it's not going to hurt us. I don't know if some of these go negative. I wouldn't think so, but who the hell knows, right? Just leveled up the golden straight up, I guess, again. Right? Sound good. 350k. That barely went up what they want from us. Interestingly. The fuck is that? <laughs> the hell? That's the leveled up token. This is like a weird bet, I think. That I don't totally understand. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and discard that. <laughs> First dozen, sure. There's a pocket ball. Chuck it. Double nines. 
There's the other pocket ball. Chuck it. Double nines. There we go. Okay, round clear. Get another nine, sure. Right? Bet on two numbers, huh? Attached token becomes fragile, meh. When an ice bet is placed, instantly freeze random pocket, no. When winning a corner bet, plus 25 points. What's a corner bet? I guess I don't have a corner bet, right? As far as I can tell. Plus 100 chips, decrease it by 10 per the count of numbers removed from the wheel. That's terrible. First two rerolls of the shop are free. That's pretty decent. Flash bet is retained for one more spin. That is removed after a spin. Flash. I don't think we have it, right? I don't know what a flash bet is. I'm going to assume that we don't have it. Roll because it's free, right? Yeah, we can get a lot of stuff here, right? Uh, Just to kind of speed that up. We are placing... A lot of bets here. I guess the Echo Color one is decent. $3. Maybe I should have upgraded something instead. I don't know. Do -do -do. Golden straight up. Yeah, I guess you just bet it still here. Flash Color, large ball. Plus 600 chippies. There's a pocket ball. Chuck it. We converted one. 230. Second pocket ball. No conversions. That's okay, though. Boom, bam, doom, doom. I'm doing way better than when I was playing alone for 45 minutes, by the way. Like, you don't understand. I was just losing, losing, losing. Quickly, too. <laughs> uh... Attached token is always drawn first. Just to make sure you get it before the pocket ball, huh? Plus 30 chips for the numbers of both red and black. No. No. Um. Okay. Put it on the dozen one, I suppose. No winter. When a ball lands in a pocket containing the number two, that's terrible. That's terrible. So I think we're kind of out of items here, potentially, that are very useful. That's actually possible, I imagine, right? Let's upgrade the other straight up here. What's this boss do? For each score, related activation, reduce score by 10%. What do you mean? Score related activation. So if I place too many bets, kind of? Maybe that's what that means. I don't know. Chuck the pocket balls. Double nines. Oh, the boss, like, destroyed it. What? That's bullshit. <laughs> I don't even understand. We bet on odds. Bet on red. It's going to destroy me again, isn't it? It reduced my score down the... Come on! I think we're dead. It's over, right? It's kind of ogre. What can I draw that's better than this? What's worth more, really? A large ball's worth a little bit more. This... Oh, that's broken, so we're not going to draw that. Large ball? There's the large ball. We know where it's going to land. Holy shit, it's huge. So I'm guessing we're just going to get destroyed again by the boss. And not as badly, but yeah, we did. <laughs> I I don't really understand that boss. Like, how would I even play around that? Just like, don't have too many things. Trickster class unlocked. Let's go, baby. Bingo, bingo, everybody. It was fun, right? Weirdly fun. Honestly, that was way luckier and way better than anything, any uh, other runs that I've had. So that might be a better example of the game than any other time I've ever played it. Don't think it's going to be that easy. I don't know. Check it out. It just came out on Steam. I got like er an early version here, so this might be ever so slightly different. It definitely has a lot of work to be done, but it is early access. 
it's uh it's 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 mildly shameless in its uh <laughs> uh format in terms of Bellatro. It clearly is very inspired by it, but I gotta admit, it's surprisingly fun also. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.